I came down with kind of flu-like symptoms. Um, I didn't really think much of it. Um, I'm thinking, oh, I just had the flu or a bad cold, but that was the tail end afternoon of March 11th, and I woke up March 12th, and I felt like crap. So I went to the doctor. Uh, they did some testing for the flu and other viruses, and when those came back negative, they wanted to do the coronavirus test. It took about a week to get the results back, so in the waiting period, you know, I had fully recovered, although I was staying quarantined because they, you know, they told me to stay quarantined. Uh, but I felt better by the time that I got my results back. But when I did get the results back, when I got the results back, it was kind of a, a shock because it was like, wow, you know. And then he got sick right after that. And that was the scariest thing as a parent. I was more concerned about him than I was anything to do with me. I knew was, I, I was okay, but I, I wasn't sure how his, his little body was going to handle everything. By the time we had gotten his results, about five days later, he was also better. Um, so his symptoms more, were more asymptomatic, I would say, like GI symptoms. He um, didn't have a big appetite, wasn't eating a lot, was spitting up a lot. Um, and then that's when I kind of got sick as well. We were kind of sick the same time. Um, but they recommended me not to get tested unless I needed to be hospitalized. But I, I had all of the symptoms that my son had. And then I had a symptom in common with Dakota, which is we both lost our sense of taste and smell. Coming from whenever the beginning of this really blew up, you know, I had a lot of fear myself. But knowing that the vast majority of people are recovering from this, 98 to 99 percent of people, you know, that's the reason we wanted to share our story is to put some positivity out there. And, you know, we will all get through this together. Uh, it's just, you know, take it one day at a time and, and practice the principles that have been set in place for us to practice. And, you know, get back and we can enjoy life again whenever all this is over. It just makes me not want to take life or a minute of life for granted because we have really missed just seeing our loved ones and being able to hold our grandmas in our arms and, um, you know, being able to be close to everyone. So if anything, take away from this that life is not um, as long as you expect and you need to take every single second um, with the ones you love.